up, world? Back again with another country rap report. It's yours truly, Vic XL. Oh, this bank. What's happening? I'm I'm getting better. Work with me. Work with me. <laughs> and then you had a little twang on the what's happening. <laughs> what's happening, fam? What's happening? My friends told me never wear a cowboy hat. You're gonna make me bust out the cowboy hat. Hey, we might have to get one because we're doing this country rap shit. So, you know, cowboy hat and the straw and some overalls and boots. We are, no, we are country. I ain't wearing no boots now. I ain't wearing no boots though. All right, yeah. so look, I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about, let's say situation. Converse. We're talking about today our guy, Adam Calhoun, who is hey, Cal. a Cal, who is riding high on the charts, definitely dominating the charts. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check out our Adam Calhoun Pressure album review, please go back and check that out. I'm sure it's on one of those posts up above, actually down below, but check it out. Um, but we're going to stay on the topic of Adam Calhoun. First of all, I want to say congratulations for him at one point in time being number one on all genres. Yes. Um, up until the, this point, he's released four videos of the album, Larry Bird, or Will Low, Riding Shotgun, and what we actually said was one of the most important songs off of the album Pressure, he released a video to uh, Hate Yourself. So, Adam Calhoun, if he was ever in the shadows of Ryan Upchurch, and there are two different types of country rap artists, he is yes, definitely, for sure. he's definitely stepping to the forefront. Agree, agree, agree. And this blog... Agreed. This blog today is about Adam Calhoun and his moves and him stepping to the forefront. Okay. So the first thing I want to say is Adam Calhoun just launched a label. Um, please get in the comment, comments and let me know. I think it's either Hustle Hard or Hard Hitting or it's something with two H's records. Um, I had it and I, man, I completely apologize because the person sent me the information and it got deleted. But I want we're gonna call it hustle hard records just for the sake of being wrong, and we'll do a re, I'll do a retraction when I get the correct name. Okay. All right. He just he's launching his label, and at this point he has two signees. Um, first signee was a artist by the name of Broadnax, or is it Broadnox? I I say Broadnox. I'm not sure exactly what the uh, enunciation is, but. Yeah, I like, I like, I'm going to stick with Broad Knox. All right. Broad Knox is from Louisiana. Okay. Looks like he could be Adam's long lost cousin. <laughs> they might be related, for real. But the funny thing, when we talk about Adam, his, his rhymes, um, that hardcore, Broad Knox is even harder and more lyrical. I wouldn't say more. He has better cadence. Um, but definitely he's up there. When we did our top list, he was in uh, both of our lists. And of course, I didn't have a, an order in the number after church. But I, I'm, you, you stated something earlier about him stepping to the forefront. I think country rap is being structured now to where, you know, when we were growing up, there were tops in, in the sublets there was this, your East Coast rapper, that was your top guy. And I don't know who that was at the time. We would probably say Rock Hill. And then there was a top guy that was in Florida, right? When nobody really that was doing it other than Luke. You know, and then when the Midwest popped, there was this whole no limit structure and then cash money came in. It was like everybody, the tops, and they're being respected in those little sublets. Because church is such a contrary to Adam, they might be a one and a one A, you know, but and, and Jelly might be a one B. You know, those would be your top three that are leading the entire genre because all three are something completely different. Uh, but and all three are something that are uh, held, held way and above the rest of the talent. Uh, and, and I haven't heard anything about Jelly constructing a label, but we know Church does. But this is a good move for Adam. Uh, for him to bring in broad knocks and for some usually the talent that you bring in isn't as great as you and fucking broad knocks could 
go toe to toe with Adam uh, on any track. I just hope that he has a pieces of the elements of the second signees that you're going to talk about mixed in when they get ready to drop Broad Knox and, and when Adam drops his next project. Now, what is dope for those who don't know about Broad Knox, uh, Broad Knox was featured on a song called Ratchet Strap with Adam. Um, he just released um, his first video affiliated with Adam's label, Jason Williams. Now, I don't know what Jason Williams, Larry Bird, they're, I guess, paying homage to all the white basketball players. And he just... I, dropped, I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at you're it. You're right. You're right. And he just dropped a video uh, called OG, which is a remix to Upchurch's YZ. So Adam already got this guy on the forefront doing his thing, um, representing the label and displaying his talent. And I, my hat's off to Adam for that and for finding someone who's just as talented as you. Because a lot of times the artists, artists ran labels, they don't find anyone that could challenge them on the skill set. So right. signing Broad Knox definitely, definitely, definitely gives him my support and credit because right. he's not afraid of someone being as successful, if not more successful than him. So right. I, I, I definitely, definitely, definitely dig that. And again, Broad Knox is from um, West Monroe, Louisiana. He's definitely a Southern boy. He's got the big old beard and He's a huge DJ Screw fan, huge um, Texas rap fan. So I look forward. Oh. I look forward to hearing that sound. So now maybe we're going to get some country rap tunes for sure with, with lyrics. Yeah, he comes he, that. That's um, like I said, that's the rap a lot times. Mm -hmm. Like he grew up, he grew up on rap a lot and Cash Money. So he he got to come with the shit. Like Adam grew up on MOP and my beat. Like there's some. They, their roots are fundamental pieces of, of hip hop history. So they, they, they need to come with it. And, and I'm expecting it. I mean, I haven't heard anything that I been, well, yeah, when I heard Broad Knox, I was like, who the fuck is this? Because <laughs> this dude is spitting. Like, this is, who is this shit? He didn't, he didn't write that shit. Somebody else wrote that shit. I, I'm throwing all the fucking irrational thoughts out there instead of just saying, this dude got it. Like I don't, I don't care what age he is. Like it, it put him up against most rappers today that think they can rap, and this dude can rap. Like, and he's got it's the cadence for me, because I'm old school and I used to rap too. But if you can't come with the cadence, if you don't have the cadence, which is mostly missing in throughout the history of white rappers, but in this genre, if you don't have cadence, it's not you're not going to set yourself apart from the rest of the quote unquote stereotypical white rappers. But Broad Knox came in, and he's been like, which, okay, I got the southern twang to it. I got a little bit of Cajun dialect, and I'm finna spit, and I'm finna do it with my flair and, and pizzazz and, and, and with no regard. And I haven't, I haven't heard anything that I'm, that, that's, been, that's, been, that's made me take a step back and be like, maybe you shouldn't have done that. But so far, it's been one positive move after another from Broad Knox. Also, he's got a um, – because he's been putting in that work. Um, he has a joint that he released in June with Struggle Jen Jennings called uh, Forrest Bondurant. Um, he has a song that he released in July called Nolia, which he's representing um, Louisiana. Um, he's definitely been putting in the work. Before he got with Adam, he recorded under the name of Mr. Broad Knox. And um, – he has a joint timeless too, which is dope. But he's not a rookie. So Adam did not go find a um, new booty. Right. He went and found <laughs> someone with skill set who's definitely perfected their craft and earned their spot on Adam's label. Now, I, I'm going to have to make some calls to see how they view not just Broad Knox, but just the genre in Louisiana. You know, I, I, I do have some some peeps still there. But when I was there working with the people uh, that has the Mr. Big Stuff record, I, and I was checking around town to see like what was popping, his name ca never came up, but it might have been because he was white. Uh, and it was, he, was, he might have been doing the country rap or rap thing. And 
and and you know how we are when especially with hip hop if if you don't you didn't look like us we didn't take you serious but i think in 2021 those um definitions and viewpoints need to expand a little bit because it's no longer just you know somebody from the east coast and up north in the new york area that can rap or has the ability to rap uh y'all need to start respecting these folks a little bit more all right now he followed that up december the 20th he signed a group that me and you are both familiar with yes uh, out of yes, yes. Georgia, he signed the sticks Cindy sticks yes. and joe sticks <laughs> sinister sounds and creeper loke well yes <laughs> we go. We. I don't. I'm not gonna call them anything else other than those names because that's how I knew them. But yes, those guys. Yes. Um, a little background on the sticks before um, we talk about Adam. He did again. He's not finding no rookies. These no, are people who have perfected their skills. Um, for people who are not familiar with the sticks, I'm gonna get you familiar. The group. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you get that, these guys were actually the first. My first introduction into country rap, first ever. Like I, I know you talked about Nappy Roots and the other ones, but these are my first introduction in, in into country rap, and it was one of their lead songs called Crystal Crystal Meth Music. When Crystal I heard it, Meth Music, bruh. Yeah. When I heard it, I was like, "This is some different shit." But then I, I didn't know that they were on their way down that pathway and going permanently to you know country rap, but. That yes, when I that was my first ever listening and critiquing and evaluating country rap music. All right, well, the group formed in 2011, so these gentlemen have been around each other for the past 10 years, and they currently have six full length albums under their belt. So, again, these are not rookies. Now, I had a chance to um, speak with Joe Sticks, aka Creeper Loke. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I asked him a couple of questions. He let me know that the group they actually they actually been together since 2010, but they formed the group and came up with the name The Sticks in 2011. They met in Macon, Georgia. They had the opportunity to meet um, and were introduced to Adam Calhoun on the set of a video that Adam done. They actually met on the set of a video of Jelly Roll and Struggle Jennings. They got a record called Money, Sex, and Drugs, which was filmed in Orlando, Florida, at uh, the Sausage Castle. What the hell is that? <laughs> that sounds like a male strip joint. <laughs> the sausage. Okay, my bad. I got distracted. <laughs> well, he said, he said again, they met Adam on the set of a Jelly Roll and Struggle Jennings music video, Money, Sex, and Drugs, filmed in Orlando, Florida at the Sausage Castle. Actually owned by Mr. Mike Bussey. So shout out to Mike Bussey for for providing the sausage castle and everybody having the opportunity to enjoy the sausage and, <laughs> and, videos and, and um. but the good thing that came out of that was the sticks oh. met Adam Calhoun. Um they both say they feel extremely blessed to even be part of his brand new label and they feel like it's a huge opportunity and they're ready to make a huge impact on the music industry. And, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. Adam actually stated that he looks so forward to displaying the talents of Broadnax and the sticks to the world. And he quoted, the world will hear us. Now, with that being said, I so look forward to a possible super group album or compilation album with those three. I can't imagine I can't imagine what a mm. five song EP that featured. They don't want that. Cindy Sticks. They don't want that. They don't want that. Oh my God. They don't want that. Can you imagine? It? Can you imagine bruh. If those four locked bruh. in? Bruh, 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 bruh. bruh. I, I'm, 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 I'm listening to shit in my head. And like, they don't want that. They, don't, they do not want no fucking sinister sounds. Producing Adam Cow. I don't know how the fuck anybody else in country rap allowed this to happen, but he does not belong anywhere near anybody that's of the talent of Adam Calhoun or Broadnox. Like he's supposed to be, y'all supposed he's supposed to dwell in the lower end talent. 
He's supposed to dwell in the uh, unknown and about to be discovered. Y'all done fucked around and let this man get access to one of the top acts in the country rap genre. And he signed somebody just as talented as him. And y'all forget, Sin can also rap too. So this is, no, no, boy, this, this is about to be some shit. Not only can Sin rap and produce, but he sings. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm the gold mine that Adam just did. Like Adam just signed a group, true. But he just, he may have just filled out the final foundations for his label. Sin is a one man production team. Now, I'm not taking anything from what we call him, Joe Sticks, Creepolo. I'm not taking anything Joe from Sticks. him. Joe, Joe Sticks. Sticks. Okay, Joe Sticks. I'm not taking anything from him. He can spit too. But Adam now has four different types of rappers. He has a producer that can produce all four of their types of music. And he has a, pro a producer that is self-contained. And if he wanted to do his own solo project, he could. So he really just signed three groups or three acts instead of just two. This, when we talking about the uh, Pressure album review, we was talking about, the, and I said something about the production level. Had Sin produced Pressure, we would, I wouldn't, we probably both would have gave it a 10 because Sin's production isn't your stereotypical basic ass hip hop production. Sin adds a whole lot of uh, melodic stuff to it. And, uh, and I think that's what's missing with Mostly Adam stuff, not saying anything negative about it, but the early 20s, 2005 ish, all the way up to like 2010, there wasn't a whole lot of melodies and shit going on in hip hop. It was just basic beats, you spit, hook, repeat, same shit. Sin can add a whole different element to Adam's production and modernize it the way that I thought it, the whole album should have been in, in the first place. Um, and he keeps that whole southern twang because it's, it's, even their own music is still it's 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 rap for sure, but there's this this these southern elements that make it the country rap that Sin is allowed to bring to. It. I'm more excited about Sin in this whole equation than I am about Adam having a label or Broad Knock signing or the Stick signing because I know what Sin is going to bring to all of them. He's going to elevate the entire label, and I, I hope Adam's not done because he probably needs a female and he probably needs a singer. But I don't know if he's about that singing life. He probably may just want to stay with a pure singer, not just a melodic singer. Um, he might just want to stay with rap. But if he added a female, if he got his own little Katie Noel or Sarah Ross or Savannah Dexter type, Adam's label would be complete and he wouldn't have to con look for more talent. They would all be self-contained and he can support the label by all of them farting out albums uh, on a consistent basis. I'm excited for this move. For, not just for Adam, but can for you, fucking country rap, bro. Can you imagine if he found a female Adam Well, female broad next? When I was, when broad I met not. Adam, when I met Adam, when I was up there for the video shoot, there was a female rapper there, but she's not on the label. Uh, I'm not releasing any of it. We'll talk about the shit when we're not on this uh, cast. But she was there. She's fucking beautiful, too. I mean, 10, bro. She's a dime. You but, know her name? No, nah, I can't. I will not say her name because I don't think she signed. And I don't. And there might have been some behind the scenes shit to where she was just filling out the label. But had, had she signed or somebody like her, Adam... Adam would be unstoppable. Adam would have. Adam has more components right now than Mako. Okay. All right. Without the female, he still got a lead because Savannah's the lead at Mako. He's got a lead because he's the lead, and then he's got other supporting cast. But right, right now he has more components than Mako does right now. Can just we're gonna say this and then we'll move on because we're gonna keep this one short. Okay. Can you imagine? Slaughterhouse in the form of sin, Adam, oh my god, Rod, oh my god, no, oh my god. I can't, I'm, I'm waiting on the first project to come from this. Shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be ears to my headphones real tight. I might even pre order this. Shit. I won't, I'm here for it, all of it, because I'm, I'm excited from what's coming up, what's coming from over there. This has to work now. Speaking of, um, let me pull it up real quick. Speaking of the sticks. 
for everyone who wants to kind of get caught up on uh, what they got going on. If you get an opportunity, nine years ago, these gentlemen released a song that you mentioned, Crystal Meth Music, when Joe Sticks actually looked like Creeper Lope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be mad as shit. We keep calling him that. <laughs> it's hip hop history, bro. It is what it is. But right now, that video has 6.4 million views. That's what's up. Um, nine years That's ago, still. I, um, they like I said, they got six albums under their belt as a stick. But right now, they have a record called No Looking Back. Um, I think they actually probably done it before their affiliation with the label. But okay. um, it's, the numbers are going up. Um, they released a, a video um, eight months ago, Night Rider, Midnight Rider. They got a song called County Music that they dropped four months ago. And, uh, man, they are definitely, definitely working. And my man, um, Cindy Sticks, he's out doing hooks. He got hooks with um, James Jiggy G. I've heard him on hooks with Leroy Biggs. Um, he, oh, I didn't know that. Yes. He is def- oh, hell yeah. def- hell yeah. definitely making his rounds. But right now, right now. I got a whole beat pack from seeing um, in my inbox right now. The song that the world is gravitating to is No Looking Back. No Looking Back. I need yep. to check that out. Yep. It's I don't even, I don't even, to be honest, I don't even know if I want to listen to the old stuff. It's, like, for real. For, I'm, I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not hating on them, but I think the shit that they're about to do is going to elevate them to a new diff, new plateau, and it won't even compare to the old stuff. It has to. It has to. I'm putting it into existence. This shit is going to win and they're going to all eat and be great. All right. So now, with that being said, real quick, because I got like 10 minutes. I don't know what's going on here. Adam. Well, I, I can hear you. Well, you, you can have a technical difficulty. Battery, my, my, bat, some okay. my battery. I don't know. It's, okay. Maybe we're dropping too much knowledge. Okay. Now, with that being said, I'm wondering how much we're going to see Adam. Because Adam has came out and said that he no longer wants to rap anymore. Bullshit. I'm calling that too. Adam. Bullshit. Adam. Bull, you, bullshit. I don't, even, don't even finish it. Bullshit. Don't say it. That's, you're lying. No, sir. You cannot be one of the top in the genre and say you're done. Fuck that. No, you're not done. I'm going to diss. I'm going to grab, grab a mic and diss Adam just so I can make him not quit. He you are you cannot you cannot I rebuke that shit, you cannot you cannot you cannot I'm I'm no, no, no. In 2024, he's looking forward to running for president. You can still do that. Kanye dropped a gospel album before he announced he was going to run for president. You can still do that. Um, he's currently working his way up to running three miles a day. That's good. That's breath control. So you can still. Breathe on the mic. Keep going. And he said nothing that's going to keep him from spitting. He's looking forward to winning. He wants to win a Grammy, which means he feels like he might have to uh, you ain't, get away from no Grammy. He ain't winning no Grammy, fam. You ain't winning no Grammy. You ain't, you ain't, that ain't, ain't no country rap fucking category on the Grammys. You can't. You can't.